Okay, let's look at this question. We have uh, Faiza here, we have uh, Elise. We have Faiza here, we have Elise here, and they are both uh, at the same spot. They are going to start jogging towards along this uh, running path. And we have this clue to state that this Faiza speed was 30 meters per minute faster than Elise speed. So this is going to be the distance that Faiza had um, completed. Uh, when he reached the end of the track, he will actually make a U-turn immediately and head towards where he started. So this Elise will be the one who is still running or jogging along this red line here. And eventually they will meet at this uh, mark, this mark here where I'm, I just cross it out in green. And this is the 4,000 meters mark of the running track. Now, we can see that uh, this Faiza actually run a longer distance than Elise. And in fact, he ran or jogged a, an extra distance of 1,200 meters compared to Elise uh, because his speed was faster. And according to this uh, clue here, every minute, every minute, this uh, Faiza will run or jog 30 meters more than Elise. So if he actually ran 1,200 meters more than Elise, it means that they have been running uh, for a total of 40 minutes. Because every minute, he'll run 30 meters more. So 40 minutes, he will run a total of 1,200 more than Elise. Okay, so um, this 40 here represents the duration that they have been jogging. And we can actually find out the um, answer to this question. They want to find out Elise's speed. So Elise, uh, this is the distance that she jog and the distance that is 4,000 meters. So we just take 4,000 meters divide by um, the time that she, she took and that's 40 minutes and we have 100 meters per minute as the answer to this question.